<laughs> but it's weird though. A um, couple of interesting things have happened. It's been officially four and a half months since they've elected the new Pope. And I think that's very cool because I'm Catholic, so my parents were like watching seriously to find out who the new Pope was. And when they elected the new Pope, they had a whole way of choosing one. All the cardinals, they go into a room, and they've got this chimney thing. And if white smoke comes out the chimney, it means they've chosen a new Pope. If black smoke comes out the chimney, it means that the church is on fire. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine the church is on fire? Comes in, Come over here, the church is on fire. Fire brigade is like, morning, padre. No, come over here, you moron. <laughs> So, and I was looking at the list of guys that they could have elected, and one of the guys was from Jamaica. And I think that would have been fun. A Jamaican Pope would definitely give white smoke coming out of the chimney a whole lot of things. Can you imagine the Cardinals coming out going, Why you? Why you? What's wrong? There's a Pope in the pulpit, what I'm going to do. There's a Pope in the pulpit, what I'm going to do. I mean, lots of fun. <laughs> Imagine he's sitting there up in the rectory going, Pope Jarvis the first, what are you doing? I am preparing the sacrament. <laughs> they won't need that incense burner anymore. They'll just be like, Go in peace, my children. Go forth and have the munchies. But now we've got a German pope, which is okay, you know, I just hope he doesn't turn militant. Because that's the last thing we need. Can you imagine, you commit to sin, now it's not, you know, four Hail Marys and go have a biscuit. No, 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 no. Now it's, what? You committed a sin? <laughs> Suddenly the pope's on the balcony going, These Stuka dive bombers flying over the back and row went <laughs> Sinner locked on. <laughs> chosen because they took a hell of a long time. I mean, it got so bad I was waiting for them to start Pope Idol. <laughs> imagine, I tell you what the word, what the word you want. Yeah. If you want to be my rabbi, you have got to bend. No. <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to hell, you were only watching. <laughs> the thing that was the weirdest for me though is that when, when, they, when Pope John Paul II was still alive, a year before he died, Ferrari gave him a present. They gave him a brand new Ferrari. The hell's he gonna use it for? Paperweight? Can you imagine? He's like, he puts really important documents under each of the four wheels. He's got two jacks and two old boys. How many padres have you We've got a day to go. How many friends have you Thank you very much. <laughs> but can you imagine the Pope cruising down the street in his new Ferrari? He's like parking behind the wheel, he's got a little periscope so you can see over the dashboard. He's got two altar boys, one operating the gear lever, the other operating the pedals. Like, I don't know what I'm going. He's got that little smoke, the little incense burning out the window. Oh, he's over there, he's down the street. Okay, go fetch him. He's only doing 4K an hour, it's okay. He's if I get out of first gear, I'm going to escape, yes. <laughs>